What's going on YouTube family? If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Antoine Butler. I post these videos as the spirit leads me. So be sure to subscribe and I pray that this channel will be a blessing to you. Now, the word that God has given me for this video is their plan will backfire. And this has actually been in my spirit for a few days, but I'm just now getting the chance to actually re record it. So once again, it is entitled, their plan will backfire. Meaning that those that are scheming evil against you, those that mean you harm, those that mean you no good, the weapon may form, but it will not prosper. In the end, you will be on top. In the end, you will be vindicated. And in the end, whatever evil they plan for you is going to turn around on themselves. Come on now. And the Bible verse that goes along with this is Esther chapter 7 verse 10. That's Esther chapter 7 verse 10. And it says that Mordecai was hanged on the same pole that he set up for Haman. Mordecai had it in for Haman and the Jews. So he set up a pole especially to hang Haman on. But the very pole that he set up to hang Haman, he ended up being hung on the very same pole. So the plan that he had, it backfired on him. The evil plot, the evil trap that he set up, it backfired on him. And that's the message of this video, that the evil that they plan for you is going to be turned back around on them. If you remember in Daniel chapter 6, when they threw Daniel in the lion's den, if you remember when Daniel got pulled out the lion's den, the people that got ate up by the lions was the one that schemed on Daniel. They was the one that talked the king into making a law that Daniel could not pray to his God. All what Daniel was doing was praying to his God. But the fact that Daniel kept praying to his God so much that was irritating their demons. And they had to try to get the king to make a law or they did get the king to make a law that he could not pray to his gods. So the Bible didn't say that Daniel did anything to them. So you may not have done anything to these people that are scheming against you, that are doing evil against you. The, and Esther, the Bible did not say that Haman did anything to Mordecai, but he wanted to kill Mordecai with a passion. You know why? Because the God in you irritates the demons in them. But guess what? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. If God be for you, who could ever be against you? If God be for you, who could ever be against you? And that does not mean that people will not persecute you and come against you and do evil things to you. What that means is, is that in the end, the weapon will be formed, but it will not prosper. You will be vindicated. You will come out on top. And in the end, the evil that they plan for you, it will be turned around on them. Be not deceived. God is not mocked, but whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. So what they are sowing, the evil that they are sowing, they are going to reap it. It's a spiritual law. Come on now. It's a spiritual law. So if you are looking for some peace in this situation, if you are looking for a confirmation word in this situation, let this be it. That the evil that they plan for you, <laughs> it will be turned back around on them. Thus saith the Lord. <laughs> Glory to his name. Well, with that being said, that is the word that God placed in my spirit for this video. Like I said, this word has been in my spirit for a few days. And 
I actually saw it in one of the comments and I was like, okay, it's time. It's time to get this word up right now. So praise God. So well, with that being said, until the next video, I just want to say God bless you in Jesus name. Amen.